everyone welcome back to a new video this video is for nail sugars october mood board competition so for those of you who are new to my channel i am brand ambassador for nail sugar which is a um a glitter uh, like nail art company um if you have a look on the website www.nailsugar.co.uk you can buy loads of glitters and nail art supplies um, if you also if you do want to place an order you can use code natmug10 all in caps to save yourself 10% um, but every month for the last few months and we're going to carry this on into next year I believe we have been doing mood board competitions each month so one lucky person will win a bundle of nail sugar goodies this month's mood board is disney villains so i decided to choose ursula from the little mermaid i'm gonna hand paint her on today i haven't done hand painted nail art for ages this glitter is called raven it's beautiful so the ring finger i've just created a nail using crystal clear from nail nails I'm using ultraviolet from Glam and Glitz because it's the darkest purple I have and I want a nice dark purple. The glitter I'm using here is called Raven. It's a gorgeous black holographic chunky mix. This one that I've just showed you there is called Burlesque. I'm putting this at the free edge. So Raven is at the cuticle area. Burlesque is at the free edge end. Uh, I, when I imagine Ursula, I think of like purple and black. So... I love burlesque as well it's so gorgeous and then i'm going to take a little bit of this is nocturnal so this is black and purpley pink and blue i'm going to put a little bit of this in the middle where the two glitters meet just to help blend them together like that aren't they pretty so that is that nail done i'll cap it in a minute so we've done the ring finger that is going to be hand painted, so I've just done that in clear. I'm using pure black from Neo Nails for the middle finger. So this is just going to be our base colour. So we're just going to make sure that we put a nice. This black is really pigmented, so you're you don't you don't need a lot, and you just literally want to create a thin base for this because we're going to put Raven over the top. Did I just say that? I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm not sure I might be, but I don't know if I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you tell it's Friday? I'm kind of, I'm absolutely shattered today. I don't, I just, I've, oh, I just, I just can't, I can't adult today. So today I'm going to child. Actually, that sounded a bit wrong. <laughs> today I'm going to do nothing. Actually, I am. I've got things to do. That's the, the bad thing about being an adult is even when you don't want an adult, you have to. So I'm putting Raven over the top of this black and when i'm happy oh look it's i know it's like just look i love it i really like it the index finger is gonna be i kind of ummed and ahed about this so i'm gonna put ultraviolet down and i thought i'd leave it blank i found ultraviolet was a little bit patchy a little bit wishy-washy so i made this a quite thick base just so that I didn't get any patches in the color and then I am going to go over the top of that with some clear acrylic to create the structure this ultraviolet acrylic from glam and glitz is a what do you would call it it's a glow-in-the-dark acrylic it's not a crazy bright one though but to be honest I wasn't using it for its glow-in-the-dark ability <laughs> I just wanted to use it because it's the darkest purple that I've got I think I can't really remember what I've got and what I haven't got um, I'm going in we're gonna do an ombre on this I was a little bit worried how this was gonna turn out I'm putting black at the cuticle area and I'm gonna fade it down and then at the free edge I'm gonna put some of the ultraviolet acrylic and I'm gonna fade it up I've taken a lot of the moisture liquid out of the back of the bead and I'm gonna blend it up over the black Actually, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I'm going to put some more on just to make that a little bit of a nicer fade. But to be honest, if it goes tits up, if you're going to recreate these and it goes tits up, don't worry because we're going to put a glitter swoosh 
over it. I felt like it needed some glitter. A bit more glitter. Because we've got glitter on the pinky, glitter on the middle finger, and I thought we needed it on the thumb as well. So we're going to use, in a minute, I'm going to show you. I'm just sort of trying to make that blend a little bit better. I don't think that was too bad. That's all right, isn't it? So I've picked up with a small wet bead of clear acrylic some of the nocturnal glitter, which is the the finer chunky mix. It's not a chunky mix. It's like a, it's, it's like a medium I don't, know, I don't know, it's like one of those in-betweens. It's not a fine glitter, it's not really a chunky, it's an in-between. I like these, I like these because I find these smaller chunks are more versatile. There we go, so I'm going to cap all those and I'll file and buff them. That's what they look like already. Right, so we filed and buffed and everything. So we're going to hand paint Ursula now. The base colour I'm using is from Nelchemy, it's called Selenite. I'm going to go over the nail with two coats of this. I did, you can just go over with plain old white. I just didn't want a plain old white. This is quite a nice one because it's got like, it creates like lines through it. It doesn't really matter what colour you use to be fair. <laughs> Although I would go for a, no, I would use a, a white or a, a cream kind of colour. I don't you do, you don't have to, but whatever. Just that's my thoughts on it. <laughs> what ifs? So this is the second coat. Nail can use gel polishes, cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. I was trying to get the, I was trying to make it all nice and even. <laughs> it was really awkward. There we go, pop it in the lamp for another 30 seconds. Don't get it on the client, on your client's skin. And now I'm gonna go over with the velvet matte top coat because I want, if you haven't got any velvet matte, I would just go over with some plain old glossy top coat and then buff the surface just so that it's not smooth. I've used a pencil just to kind of map out her face a little bit. I am, but right, this is going to be, this is going to be like a time lapse thing here because there's got to be an easier way to do this than how I done it. Not easier, but quicker because she took me flipping ages honestly i think i was working on this now for about an hour and a half and i was like surely i mean she's a little bit intricate you know um she didn't turn out as nicely as i'd hoped but you know what can you do um so i just wanted to show you i'm using the nail Chemie artisan gel paints to paint ursula on and if you haven't got quite the right color that you need you can mix them together so i want to create like a light purple almost like pink and i want a little bit of the dark purple left over so i'm just going to mix that and i'm adding a little little bit of color at a time because it's easier to add more than it is to take out Do you know what i mean i don't want to waste more putting you know what i mean yeah so yeah <laughs> And I don't really show you, but I do every now and then I will flush cure. So I say flush cure. These artisan gel paints cure in um, in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. So I will just bung it in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I'm kind of, I don't know really. I thought I'd do the colour of her face first. So... I'm kind of just trying to go around her eyebrows that I've already done, but I do go, I do have to go around them again later. And and then I thought, but I, if I do this, I'm going to lose the, the the outline that I've done with my pencil. <laughs> so I was like, oh God, how do you, I don't know. I'm not a, oh, if it's easy peasy, like my Mickey Mouse's were quite easy, but she is quite a lot more involved which I think is, is why it took me a lot longer. Um, but I am gonna, I'm gonna just fast forward this a bit more. So yeah, this is more time lapsey um, and I apologize. But if I, and let me know actually in the comments, if you want me to do some more hand painted nails of different like characters and stuff, um, because I'll try and do some more because I did really enjoy it. And although she wasn't, I didn't think, I mean, she's not, she's not amazing. Um, but for me, I was pretty pleased with how I done. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more hand painted characters. 
yeah, and I'm just going to leave you with a time lapse for a minute and I'll come back to you in a minute. I did jump a bit there, um, I forgot to hit the record on my phone, 
So we're just going to put her like, I don't know what you call it, do you call it like a beauty spot? And then we're going to go over to seal it in with the velvet matte top coat from Nelkami because I want this to say to stay um, velvety. I am coming to the end of my bottle and there are some bits in it for some reason. <laughs> so we're going to go over her. The good thing I like about the velvet matte top coat is that it doesn't smear your design. So once I'm happy that it's completely covered, I will pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. <clears throat> And then for the rest of the nail, I'm going to top coat with their normal top coat. And it's top coating time! I was trying to come out with that and it all came out wrong. So yeah, this is now Camille's non-wipe top coat. So you can just see, isn't that glitter gorgeous? I love it so much. You can't beat a glittery nail, can you? So that was Raven, Nocturnal and Burlesque all together. And then this one was just Raven on its own. I don't know if Raven is actually still available. It might be on the website. I wasn't sure. I can't remember if it's one that's been discontinued or not. It's quite nice though, isn't it? And I'm going to leave that one because just when I thought I'd finished the set. <laughs> no, I've got to do something else. So I decided to do a tentacle because she's like um. She's kind of like an octopus. I can't, do you know what? I've not, Little Mermaid used to be one of my favorite, favorite Disney movies ever. She's like an octopus though, isn't she? So I'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure. And then, oh yeah, this is what she looks like. I mean, she's not too bad. She's not brilliant. I mean, I've seen some people do designs like this and they're absolutely flawless. They're incredible. But that is mine. That is how I've done. <laughs> So on this one, we're gonna we're gonna do this one now. Again, I'm using the artisan gel paints, and I've just sped this up as well. I am just gonna do a thick, curly whirly line, and as it curls into the middle, it's going to narrow. So imagine, you know, like a, an octopus's tentacle. So this is gonna be our black base. I just decided after I'd done her face and it being so bloody intricate and fiddly and detailed or as detailed as I could make it I wanted to keep this just nice and simple because I just wanted to get the set finished oh, so I will cure the black in the lamp for, the, for 60 seconds sorry and then I'm taking some of the pinky purple that I mixed up to create her face and I'm just going to put this down one side of the tentacle making sure they're still black either side and then I'm going to cure that and then I'm using the grey now that I've done with her hair and I'm just going to create some like little suckers I mean this is this is so basic <laughs> so they're going to go all the way down one side and that is basically that and I'll cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to use my velvet matte top coat over the top of that I'm going to try and show you this glowing in the dark as well. It does glow a really nice colour, but it's not one of those, you know, you get those like, like really bright greeny blue ones. It's not one of, it's not a really bright one. Look, it's, it's, it's nice. I like it. I was trying to make it bright because I struggled because my room was still quite light. But I mean, you can see it. It's not bad, is it? It's just a, I don't know. It's, there we go. Anyway, I hope you like this set. If you did, please leave me a like. Don't forget, if you want to see more of them, let me know in the description box below. Um, because these take me slightly longer, I might have to cut down to three videos a week if I do. But to be honest, I probably won't do three characters a week. I'll probably do like one character a week if people want to see more of them. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you beautiful lot on Monday. Have a great weekend.